A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This famous passage from what we know as the Sermon on the Mount in the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus has an epic two or three chapter long teaching on, on all things. And today we hear about prayer. And I want us to think about this teaching on, on prayer as it occurs in the context of these days of Lent, as we prepare to celebrate once again the Easter feast in several weeks. But in the meantime, we are dialing in on ourselves and our, in our own lives, not only ourselves as individuals, but perhaps our corporate life. But listening to Jesus' words through that lens of what is it that I can do to draw more closely to the way that Jesus has laid out for me. And so with prayer, um, I'm really struck this time through listening to Jesus giving us that model or that template for prayer. Notice he's not giving us the magic words. He doesn't say, pray this prayer. He says, pray like this. And he, he brackets what we now know as the Lord's Prayer, where he gives us sort of categories to think about and maybe a stance and a posture towards God and towards others as the essential part of a prayer like this. It doesn't have to be with those particular words. But he also prefaces it by saying, don't be like the people who heap up all the empty phrases and who seem to think that by the power of their words, they can compel God to do something and that because of all of their words and by heaping up all their empty phrases, somehow they'll compel God to act. Jesus said, it isn't so. It isn't, prayer isn't about the words that we can cobble together. Prayer is about our stance toward God, acknowledging God as the Holy One, um, acknowledging God, God's reign as something that we'd like to see in our day to day on earth as it is in God's universal existence and, and, and beyond our time and space, that it might be here as it is with God everywhere, um, that we might forgive others as, as we've been forgiven. And so Jesus picks that up first. He sort of frames this teaching about what our prayer should be like, that Lord's Prayer, but he, he leads into it with, don't worry so much about the words, and then he ends, sort of after he finishes the prayer, he then kind of doubles down, he circles back and he doubles down on this forgiveness piece. And once again, um, he says, you know, you have to forgive others so that you may be, and just remember that as you forgive others, so will you be forgiven, and as you do not forgive others, uh, so also will your, will God not forgive you. And he really, it, it's sort of a, an exclamation point on what he said about the kind of way we should pray, which is about recognizing who God is, our stance towards God and one, one another. And Jesus really lifts out that forgiveness piece and says again, um, just remember, it's it's serious business how you approach forgiveness, holding on to grudges, holding on to punishing other people. He, he acknowledges we're perfectly free to do that. But in fact, know that there's a relationship between the way we interact with others and the way God interacts with us. Now, if that doesn't strike fear in your heart, I don't know what does, um, because it's very easy to not be forgiving. And so I invite you to join me this day in Lent as we continue to make our way through this 40-day journey that we might today focus on that which Jesus lifts up and emphasizes for us. How is it that I am paying attention to the places in my life where perhaps 
I've just not done the work of forgiving others, paying attention to those places where I feel I have things um, that for which I might need to be forgiven, whether it's with God or with another person. And during this time of our great spring cleaning, during this time of Lent, taking the time, the spiritual energy, uh, and offering that in humility to God. Again, the words, uh, what, what I love about this passage from Matthew's Gospel is that Jesus is reminding us that we don't have to have the perfect words. What we need to have is a stance of relationship with God and with others and a heart uh, that is ready to forgive and be forgiven and um, the willingness to allow God to transform us through that, through that practice of prayer. So may God be with you on this day in our Lenten journey, and may God bless and keep you this day and always. Amen.